Assalamu alaikum guys. Um, so this video, uh, I will talk about how I prepared for the Board of Exam, um, the PEPC, which is uh, Pharmacy Board of Examination of Canada, for the uh, foreign graduates exam, which is called the evaluating exam. The first point, um, how long did it take for me to prepare for the exam? So I started preparing from August 2016. Um, till end of December 2016 because the exam took place on uh, um, and it's over two days it was in January 2017 um, how long did I study so I studied about an hour each day because I was working full-time as a pharmacist so I had only one hour um, to study each day otherwise I was um, busy with other things and on weekends I would study about four to five hours a day. So um, I can share my study schedule with you later if you guys want. Um, I, I can post the link below. Okay, so the cost of the examination, um, it's about 1200 Canadian dollars, which you need to submit that with your application for uh, the evaluating exam. So as of the references that I've used to study for the evaluating exam, uh, so it's important to keep in mind that it's a basic competency exam, so only the basic things that you covered during pharmacy school. There are clinical questions, but, there, um, but the rest of the questions are very general. So the first reference that I studied from is the uh, Pharmacology Examination Board Review by Katzong. So this is a very nice book, it covers all the pharmacology chapters, very simplifies are concise to the point and it's very colorful as well. There are questions after each chapter so we try to solve those questions and they will help. But they will help you very much. The second reference book, which is the main book that I've studied from, is the APHA Complete uh, Review for FEPG. I know it's for the FEPG which is the American uh, equivalent of the evaluating exam. But it's very nice that it um, covers all the chapters and all the topics that you took in pharmacy school, of course in a very simplified form. So it's very good. And so as you can see, um, it's very clear handwriting. It's, however, it's not very colorful. So I use lots of highlighters and stuff. So, but it, it sure will help you very much uh, during the exam. So this was in the main reference. Uh, for the Canadian health system related topics or anything that is specific to the Canadian exam, um, I studied from the uh, MISPA book. And so you can't really buy the book online, so I had to take the crash course. And the crash course is not very helpful at all. So I only studied from the MCQs that you posted online and the, um, the book that, that, was that was mailed to me. Uh, from this month. Um, the last reference, which is the Comprehensive Pharmacy Review, so I didn't really study a lot of chapters from that. I only um, focused on the important general topics, the clinical topics, um, to be specific, such as smoking cessations, rheumatoid arthritis, gout, hyperglycemia, um, cardiovascular topics, and diabetes. Um, so that's that's mainly uh, my references, and I did pass the exam. Uh, do that. Thanks, Allah. So, um, so these are my references. If you need more details or uh, how I um, how I divided the topics, how I studied from each book and such, please do not hesitate to email me or um, comment below. Thank you.